Bobtail squid are a group of cephalopods that have long been considered to be modified cuttlefish. However, recent evidence from DNA sequencing indicates that they are not closely related to true squid or cuttlefish. Different species can be found all over the world in tropical, temperate, and polar waters. Many species live in coastal waters close to the seafloor. One group of bobtails has evolved a more pelagic lifestyle and may be found in the open ocean. All bobtail squid have a round mantle and rounded fins. They all have eight arms with suckers, along with two feeding tentacles that can be retracted into pockets on either side of the mouth. They may possess a hard internal body part called the gladius, or pen. However, the gladius is often reduced or absent. The body has many pigment cells that can produce an array of colors and patterns for mating displays and camouflage. Bobtail squid have large organs that host bioluminescent bacteria. A bacterium creates light via a chemical reaction. This gives bobtail squid a softly growing underside that makes their silhouette less visible to predators in the sea below them. This camouflage hides a bobtail shadow from the moonlight and starlight penetrating surface waters. They seem to be able to adjust the light level so they appear nearly invisible. This is called counter-illumination. Other organisms, like firefly squid, also use bioluminescence for counter-illumination. In research on Hawaiian bobtail squid, it was found that the hatchlings are not born with these bacteria. They secrete a mucus around their light organs to capture the bacteria. Less than a day after hatching, a juvenile can camouflage itself from predators. Bobtail squid typically bury themselves in the sand during the day with only their eyes protruding. This way, they can hide from predators. They emerge from the sediment at night to hunt for small prey like shrimp. Bobtails have short lives, usually less than a year, and they breed only once. Spermatophores are transferred to females by males and stored in a large pouch until eggs are laid and fertilized. Females may lay multiple egg batches on the seafloor and die shortly after their last eggs are laid. Adults typically have a mantle length between a half inch and three inches long. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.